the Superman of science, and he loves to play with fire. And the things he'll do, you can do, if you so desire. Do try this at home with Mr. T. Hello, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. This is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G, and today we're going to have a great time. We're going to be playing with the electrolysis of ordinary tap water. There's one of our ingredients now. I've also got here some soap bubble solution. I've got a couple of graphite rods. I've got some wires with alligator clips on one end and bear on the other end. I've got a couple 9-volt batteries, some electrical tape, some scissors in case I need them, and an ordinary plastic fork. Ah, also some salt. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wires and I'm going to make a loop at the end of them so that they're doubled over. This one as well. Set aside bottle. It'll be used in a moment. Whoop. Drop the wire on the floor almost, but hey, I caught it. So, we're going to take our wires, and we're going to take our graphite rods, and we're going to take our plastic fork. We're going to break the end off the fork, like that. Now I'm going to take my graphite rods, I'm going to take one, two, and I'm going to sandwich the fork handle between the two rods, like this. Now I'm going to take some electrical tape, here, don't need very much, and I'm going to tape those two rods on each side of that fork handle so that they're, they remain separated, like this. You're saying, oh wait, you're forgetting the wires. No, not yet. Those will come in a minute. So there I have that done. Now, at the other end, I'm going to take my wires, the other end of the fork handle, and I'm going to take the looped end of the wire and I'm going to lift up that electrode a little bit and place that wire underneath it so that it's sandwiched between the fork handle and the graphite rod. Now, electrolysis of water is cool because you know what water is made up of? It's made up of two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. So it's two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen. And oxygen and hydrogen are naturally gases. Now, at least at our atmospheric pressure and temperature they are. Now I'm going to tape this end as well. We're going to release the hydrogen and oxygen atoms from water through what's called electrolysis. Electrolysis takes a solution that's conductive, and what it does is through the use of electricity, it releases or breaks the bond between the atoms in the solution. And the solution that we're going to use is ordinary tap water. Now I've got my electrode made here. Whoops, knocking things down. I've got my 9 volt batteries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this, this water bottle with water again. This is ordinary tap water, and my water comes from a well, so it's full of minerals and has a lot of mineral content in it. I'm going to fill this almost to the top like that. Now, we're going to take our electrode, we're going to drop it right down inside, or electrodes I should say, of this water. Now if we take an ordinary 9 volt battery and we hook up, actually I'm going to extend these with a little bit longer leads, I'm going to add some length to them, there's one, there's two, if we hook up electricity to those electrodes inside that water, what occurs is it starts to break apart the bond between the hydrogen two hydrogen atoms that are bonded to one oxygen atom, and we're going to see this happen right here and now. Now, I'm going to pull you in a little bit closer. Okay, do you see those bubbles forming? One electrode has less bubbles. Which one do you think that is? Well, let's think about it. Two parts of hydrogen, one part oxygen, water. Hmm, I would say the one with more bubbles must be releasing the hydrogen. Now, when you combine hydrogen and oxygen together, you end up with a very volatile, explosive gas. And that is what we're going to do with today's experiment. Now, you see those bubbles forming. I'm going to accelerate that and make those bubbles form even faster. Hold on a second, and I'm going to add some salt. Let me get a wide-angle shot of this again. 
Okay, that's a pretty good wide angle shot. Now when I add some salt to this, watch what starts to happen. The water becomes more conductive. I'm not going to add too much, just a little. And you're going to see a lot more of a reaction. A lot more is going to start happening. Now you may see the water start to change color. That's because those electrodes will start to oxidize pretty rapidly. Now we're getting even more of a reaction, more bubbles of hydrogen and oxygen. At this point in time, I'm going to add more water till the water is right near the top just like that. Now, at this point in time, I'm going to take my soap bubble solution and I'm going to try to create uh, some soap bubbles on top of this. Now watch this, this is pretty cool. Ah, there's one more thing that we're going to need. It's a lighter. Once the soap bubbles start to form at the top of the container here, now if you can get a real nice soap bubble to form, Watch what happens next. As that soap bubble fills with the volatile mixture of oxygen and hydrogen, watch what occurs. I think we're about ready. I'd say we are. Okay, let's try to get even more of an explosion. Okay, I got a longer lighter and I got some nice bubbles forming at the top. Let's see what happens. Wow, that was cool. Okay, it's going pretty good now and I've got some bubbles at the top. Let's give this a try. I had to change lighters, my lighter got wet. Wow, that was cool. Here goes another one. Wow, sweet. Okay, it looks like we're building up quite a bit of gas at the top there. Let's give it a shot. Not bad. I think we can do better. Let's let it go a little longer. Now remember, this is hydrogen and oxygen mixture. Two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen. All being released from ordinary water with a little salt added to, to, to make the reaction go a little bit quicker. That looks like that ought to be a big one. Here, here we go. Wow, that was sweet. Looks like we're getting quite a bit of gas build up. Here goes the final one. And remember, I'm Mr. G. Thanks for watching. Do try this at home. Okay, I've got some nice bubbles forming at the top here. Let's see what happens. Okay, I've got some nice bubbles forming here at the top. Let's see what happens. Or not. It's going pretty good now. Let's give this a shot. Uh-oh, my lighter got wet. Time to change lighters. Whoo, that was good. Scared the crap out of me. Now, I've got my two graphite rods. I've got an insulator between them, and I've got the wires between the rods and the insulators so that they make connection to the what I call the electrodes. What we're going to be playing with today is the electrolysis of water. I'm going to tape the other end here to keep those rods in place. Well, maybe. Let's start over. This is going nowhere fast. 